A sunshine soaked Saturday afternoon, day two of the 2014 Calgary Stampede. And the contestants are ready, maybe none more so than Fred Whitfield, the Hockley, Texas eight-time world champion, an absolute legend of this industry. Watch him get out here before. He's won the Calgary Stampede once before, and he'd like to do it again, and this isn't gonna hurt at all, a seven and three run to take him to the head of the class on day two, a victory lap, and the leaderboard, Whitfield, Cooper, Brazil, and Jarrett, all world champions. In the bareback riding, Caleb Bennett, Morgan, Utah, on a good Kessler horse called Copper Cat. Here's the last year's $100,000 champion. Caleb Bennett out here, and this horse is anything but easy. Throws everything at this cowboy, and Caleb Bennett is equal to every one of those tests, and shoots out the lights during the victory lap, why not? 87 points for Bennett, followed by Canadians, Jake Bull, Logan Hodgson, and Clint Lay. In the steer wrestling, First time Calgary Stampede, steer wrestler Tyler Pearson of Independence, Louisiana. Six foot two, 220 pound guy, and a whole lot of talent. Went to his first national finals rodeo last year, and that's a nice four and one. Gets him a victory lap and $5,500 in prize money. He's atop the board, followed by Billy Buganik, last year's champion Wade Sumter, and there's Dakota Eldridge as well. In the title bronc riding, a couple of guys atop the board. Oh, let's start with the wild child from Heflin, Louisiana. Heath DeMoss, Calgary Stampede horse, Tiger Warrior. And once again, a horse that absolutely fires on this guy and just can't get him out of that saddle. That's a great ride by Heath DeMoss to the tune of 86 and a half points. Jesse Wright, 2012 champion, says, I'm not going to be outdone on this day. Here I come on Kessler's breakaway. Look at this horse, high in the air, and a tremendous spur ride by the Cowboy. He too is gonna be 86 and a half, and let's have a horse race to see if we can break the tie. There's Heath DeMoss and Jesse Wright, with Ryland Geyer, the Canadian in third spot, and Isaac Diaz there as well. In the barrel race, it was all about Brittany Posey on day two of this Calgary Stampede, Victoria, Texas cowgirl. She's riding Mona, a two-time world champion, is Brittany Posey, and here she goes. Let's take her through the run. A great first barrel right there. Now two left-hand turns, one right there, down to the far side. Here's where you make the money. You make that turn for home and that hard run all the way back. And the result is gonna be a 17.69. Can't do it any better than that. Brittany Posey with the victory lap and a sensational check, $5,500 with that great run for Brittany Posey. There she is atop the board. Kim Schultz right behind her, Brittany Diaz and Sabrina Ketchum rounding out the four. Well, in the bull riding, no better way to celebrate your first trip to the Calgary Stampede than with back-to-back -back wins. He won day one. Here he is back on day two. Chase Outlaw, Hamburg, Arkansas. Calgary Stampede, bull called even money. This is about as good as you can do it right there. Chase Outlaw, back-to-back -back wins with that 85 score. And guess what? He's already won $11,000, and it's only day two of this Calgary Stampede. No wonder he's happy. There he is atop the board. The 21-year-old Canadian Dakota Butter is second. Tanner Byrne right there, and Claudio is there, the Brazilian, in fourth spot. That's how it came down, ladies and gentlemen, on day two of the Calgary Stampede.